as an experienced entrepreneur, I've heard a lot of myths about raising capital and how it happens in real life. This panel should help clear some of them up. Okay, so when it comes to raising money in Kansas City, what are some of the biggest myths that entrepreneurs think before they start? And then probably at the end of it, when they've done it, if they've successfully or unsuccessfully done it, they say, wow, that wasn't true. I wish I had knew that before I set out to raise these funds. Shark Tank. I think that a lot of people look at raising money as they've seen it on TV or in the movies. And obviously Shark Tank being the most, uh, most well-known show where people pitch an idea it's not that way yeah and they're not people don't go out and pitch an idea and get a five hundred thousand dollar investment yeah so you're telling me there's not a panel in Kansas City with strangers on it that you've never met before that are just sitting there taking pitches all day every day not that I know of <laughs> the other thing I was gonna say about that is the myth is is that it has to be a group of people I mean an angel can be one person and it can be you and I sitting here having conversation and you tell giving your idea and me asking questions about facts and that. So it can be as simple as a as a one on one conversation, and that can be an angel investment too. So I mean, it, it, it could, and it's some derivation of that with adding people or ideas or all the different results that you're looking for out of that. But it goes back to building a relationship. So in Shark Tank, those people walking in and they got people aiming guns at them to shoot them to sh cut them apart, you know, and in front of uh, however many million people watch the thing, yeah. and. It's, it's like, that is not the way that it happens. Some places it might. And in some places you're gonna find a guy that is cutthroat. But in general, these people, they're looking to encourage you to do things and they're challenging you to make yours better so that you can come back to them maybe and, and get another look. If you come in completely unprepared and don't know what you're talking about, you're not gonna get a second look. But if there's something there, you can come back. So that's the second myth. But it doesn't of, have to be one on one. It can also be, it's a, it's not a no. It's a not yet. Yeah. Anytime I think about how entrepreneurs are going out and raising money, I always look at how I got money when I didn't have it, which came when I thought I wanted to go to law school. Right. So, you know, you go ask your parents. My parents said no. Um, I go talk to my sister. That's what Angel found. I go talk to my sister. She doesn't have any money. Um, and so, you know, I talk to other people that say, go get a loan, right? So then I research how to go get a loan. And if I, if I hadn't been able to go get a loan, I would have figured out another way. And so I think that, you know, whether it's picking up the phone and calling somebody that you haven't talked to in a while and going out to lunch or whatever the case might be, to me, that is more indicative of the way people raise money than going and sitting in front of a group of strangers and saying, I've got a great idea, will you give me a million dollars? Yeah. yeah.